What experience do you have for the role? Okay, I am a NUS delegate and what that means is I'm required to kind of represent the views of um, students at UCL. So I've been going out to students, speaking to them and asking what they want to change about uh, at UCL. Um, and then afterwards I'll be going to a conference and sort of um, putting their views and concerns forward. And I think this gives me a lot of skills to be the being the officer um, because obviously I'd be representing their views and um, taking in uh, representing their views and also um, making changes from that. One of the things that I've heard from BMU students is that they feel that Black History Month is marketed towards people who already are interested in black history. Mm -hmm. um, so what would you do to make sure that it brings in students from all walks of life? Um, so recently I actually conducted a survey on um, BME students and one of the things that they mentioned was that there's a lack of engagement. Um, and a part of that also was um, that there's very like poor advertising for events. I'm just going to really make sure that the advertising is on point for, for Black History Month um, and ensure that, uh, try and get as many people as possible involved to do spoken word, to do um, advertising themselves, to blog about it, to speak about it so that it spreads far and wide and people all over UCL, even you know outside of UCL, get to know about it. Student activism and liberation movements have quite a negative image sometimes outside of university circles. So what do you think we can do about that and what do you think we should do about that? So I think with activism and liberation movements they will always have um, a negative image because it's about change and making change and kind of shaking the ground a bit and people are often maybe scared of change because they've kind of accepted life how it is as the norm. Um, so that's something i just come to accept. But I guess we can take a more subtle approach, educate people about it so that it's not too kind of frightening. Um, and I think it's also about reminding people that actually if we don't do this type of work, if we don't take part in activism, we won't um, be able to make positive changes. So for example, women's rights, like if it wasn't for um, people who campaigned and uh, who campaigned for it before, then we wouldn't be at a situation now where women can vote. So it's really important to remind people about that. Obviously wanting to challenge the BME attainment gap is positive and that's part of your manifesto, um, but what plans do you have to achieve that? So um, one of the reasons why I feel that there is a BME attainment gap is because people don't identify with the curriculum that they're being taught and so what I want to do is I want to create a review process that kind of ensures that it's very diverse and includes different researchers and academics at their point of views so that people get a more enriched learning experience. Um, and one of the ways I could do that is having modules that really focus on um, incorporating different perspectives. So I know there's something at UCL being done called Black Germany. Um, so having similar uh, modules like that. There's also one on, um, I think, about identity as well. So finding out about who we are. So these modules are, you know, modules that can help people to understand different, um, different vantage points to their, their study. Uh, one thing that I just wanted to ask you to expand upon is you talk about how cultural and religious values could be limiting people in accessing things like fitness sessions and I just thought that might be an interesting thing for people to hear about. Yeah. Um, so for example, um, so for example with um, women of colour, sometimes they feel very um, uncomfortable participating in certain events um, because it may conflict with their um, cultural or religious values so some women may feel uncomfortable in the presence of men so doing fitness activities or dance um, or self-defense activities um, so really it's about opening up safe spaces for them so that they can um, still continue doing all the things that they love without having to compromise on their um, their values on your manifesto it says people from ethnic minority groups experience and view mental illness differently um, and you want to start a discussion about mental health and BME yeah. people and I wondered what you would do to start that discussion up and what you think needs to be tackled. Yeah, so um, with BME groups not only do they um, sort of view mental health differently because obviously because of the stigma um, but it's also they experience it differently as well and that means that they can't deal with the anxieties and stresses that they have um, and especially during exam times when the stresses and anxieties are much higher I really want to create peer support groups for students so that they can help each other and not feel embarrassed or ashamed uh, about their distresses um, and essentially what this does it will reduce stigma and raise awareness for mental health as well um, I also want to create um, 
uh, hold events. I want to hold events for BME students, uh, maybe invite mental health champions from BME groups so that they can talk about how they overcame their uh, emotional distresses and hopefully inspire students to follow in the same way. Mm -hmm. um, you talk about preventing prevent, mm -hmm. um, which is the government's anti-extremism strategy. Um, but that's obviously difficult because if you don't comply with prevent, that's actually illegal. Mm -hmm. So what do you think we can do that was that is within the realms of legality to challenge that policy? Um, I think at the moment it's very vague. So for example, um, having extremist views and um, holding British upholding British values, these are very vague terms um, for people. Um, and I think it's really about clarifying those boundaries boundaries for students so they know what is incorrect or what is extremist views. Um, so yeah, and essentially overall it's just protecting the rights of students um, and their identities as well.